My name is Amy Frierson. I'm the editorial director at Design, and we're here at IFA in Berlin, where the top five designs in the Design and Samsung Ambient Mode Design Competition are on display. Ambient Mode has been developed by Samsung to make sure that a TV within your living space blends much more with the environment and becomes integrated within it. And that space can actually become a canvas for other things to happen on top. People can deliver their own information or images. Create a little bit of landscape of the digital world where we live. The contest asked entrants to come up with innovative ideas for Samsung's ambient mode. Gerard Pouche created a design called Architectural Extension. It creates an extension of the room you're in and you can put a variety of different objects inside it. Bird Clock by Jan Shi Wu and Yi Tan Sun visualizes time through a series of birds on wires. Swift Creatives have created a design called Kinetic Decor and it's a digital mobile. Time Frame by Alex Ware and Zach Walters is a design that creates the illusion of an aperture in the wall and it changes shape depending on the time. And Sphere by Iram Denise is a design that showcases layers of information on your screen and visualizes them in the form of a globe. Each of the five finalists presented their design to a jury with myself, designers Neville Brody and Owen Burlick, and Dante Lee from Samsung. The jury decided to give first prize to Kinetic Decor by Swift Creatives. Our design is a digital kinetic sculpture that responds to the environment. So it's a mobile made of a collection of fish that hangs within the frame of the TV when it's in the ambient mode and really just moves gently, rotating, turning from side to side. A lot of the inspiration came from a Danish handcrafted mobile by a guy called Christian Flensted. And I actually bought the mobile when my son was born and it hung above his crib when he was a little baby. And that sort of really inspired us to think, could we take something that's physical and actually move it into the digital realm and enhance it? So our concept takes advantage of the sensors within the Samsung TV. If the light starts to increase, the fish movement will actually start to accelerate and the colour of the fish will change. And then if somebody's presence is detected, it will trigger delightful little animations. I like the winning project very much because there's a lifestyle object rather than technology object. There's a kind of emotional approach which Samsung tried to deliver. It's present but not present. It's sort of the invisible touch. Inside the tiny details, sometimes you can really go to somewhere else. Any designer loves to see their ideas come to life. So it's been great to see the designs here at IFA and we look forward to working with Samsung to see how we can develop this to hopefully get it into Samsung's TVs around the world. 